Hey everyone and welcome to the video, in this video I will be presenting you guys my top 5 graphic cards to buy for the year 2018, so let's get started. In this video I will cover a variety of price categories starting off at the entry level $100 working our way up to enthusiast $800, I wanna hit different price segments since if I only went just enthusiast, well that only covers a portion of the graphic cards sold, so kicking it off with the entry level category, I am gonna go with the Team Red, RX 560, especially because it is just an exceptional budget graphics card, you can check the links in the description box down below for. Each of these cards in the sequence of appearance, coming to the performance, this card really excels in eSports MOPA gaming, respectable settings, decent FPS, you may have to turn settings down a little bit for those more graphically intensive games but overall it really does a great job for just over $100, so if you can snack a deal on a 4GB variant then it is a compelling product to enjoy, enhance graphical feed lighty with its advantage and games optimized for larger memory buffers as well as leading the new games driven by the latest APIs. Ok, so moving on to the next price category, this is moving into mid-range, so this is typically right side with Team Red because they have really delivered here with price to performance, the RX 570, even the more expensive RX 580 just delivered exceptional value but given the cryptocurrency mining craze, Ethereum mining, there is just so much demand from those miners for the RX 570 and the RX 580 cards that finding them at the nearest retailer is a bit of a challenge and the availability is scarce, so this does allow a card from Nvidia, that has less performance, less expensive, does not offer the same price to performance value that the RX 570 would if you find it around, nonetheless the GTX 1050 Ti graphics card delivers really exceptional performance especially at just under $150, Meet the Zotac Mini GDX 1050 Ti graphic card for just $145 right now on Amazon, this is really a compact low profile design, it's really efficient to just being PCIe bus powered, so this is great for a lot of the smaller form factor gaming PCs and beyond, it low profile compact design is one that's really attractive and gives an amazing performance. So moving on to our next price category just over $200, Another Nvidia card emerges from the shadow in the absence of the availability of those RX 580s that compete for the Nvidia's 1060s in price to performance, I will side with the RX 580 a little more because of the big video buffer, little better performance, although here Nvidia GDX 1063 GB graphics card also delivers exceptional performance, I'm gonna go with one form EVGA that is for just $220 right now on Amazon. This is still a pretty solid option for 1080p gaming, don't forget to check it out I will place links in the description below. So now time to make the jump from upper mid range to enthusiast being that the price to performance just not really there for newer cards, in between the 200 and all the way up to $400, here we are getting into high end sort of category, so here the red Vega RX 56 is taking place of the GDX 1070 as the second best card, its open air designs are really great for the HBM2 memory and even the reference design is also really good, so the Vega RX 56 really delivers here, really brings competition back to the high end category of $400. But let's move it on now to the super enthusiast category here in this video range, I choose the Nvidia GDX 1080 Ti, so which one? I am gonna go with the ASUS Strix GDX 1080 Ti with 11GB of G5X memory, the PCB is quite exceptional on this one, the cooler rate, it looks awesome, great lighting, this is my favorite card right now for just $800 on Amazon, a lot of these cards are over engineered for the actual core, GP1023584 core includes 12 billion transistors and this is gonna give you mind blowing performance in high refresh 1080p gaming and 1440p gaming, and guys if you want to game in 4k ultra setting, well the GDX 1080 Ti has you covered given that the rest of the hardware in the computer is not a limiting factor, for example you can play Witcher 3 ultra setting 4k and get an average FPS of over 60, so the GDX 1080 gives really good performance here, Nvidia holds the crown here and is the running champ for the super enthusiast category and that's pretty much all I got for this video changes are always on the horizon, new cards are always on the horizon, even so there is a lot to pick from, the graphics card market is really exciting, but do let me know in the comments section below that which one you like the most, have you recently picked one of these or are you planning to get one of these cards for your new system? Do like the video if you enjoyed it, also don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you are new because we have a lot more amazing videos coming up, 
You can also follow us on social media to stay in touch with us, I have placed all of the social media links in the description below, stay tuned and I will catch you in the next video.